What's up guys, it's Ricky here. Thank you very much for checking out this video today. I, prom I promised last week that this week there will be another What Happened To You. After I did the Moses Longwani, the Jesus Christ of South Africa, <laughs> we still need an update from ENCA on that story because we know that the guy was recently married. So on this episode, we are going to talk about what happened to Fanuel, known as Snake Pasta, after he came back from TV Joshua's church. Before we get there, let's deal with the hajjahs that this man was going uh, was going through while he was still here. We call it hajjahs here. Uh, it's it's the name for trouble. When a person is out there just causing trouble, you will not find it in any term or in any language. So don't even look for it in your dictionary. <laughs> so these are the things that he got up to before he actually went over to TB Joshua's church. First, there was the feeding of church members with snakes. Then secondly, he, there was a point where he was putting speakers on the church members. Not only did he put the, 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 the speaker there, he would also sit on it. Then he started doing what his spiritual father, Lesoho Daniel, was doing, which was jumping on church members' bodies as they lie there almost motionless. Then he fed his church members' clothing at one particular point. I don't know if they were completely swallowing or if they just kept chewing on that thing. Then he also then went to feed them hair, artificial hair number six he started driving cars over them okay just like ride a car it's 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 unbelievable stuff then he said the holy spirit was gonna appear in the church and make people go naked uh, yeah uh, people were all over the place supposedly warm after the Holy Spirit came down. And in case you are new to the faith, uh, that is not the Holy Spirit that would make a person naked within church. I think that's Afina. I can't remember the, the name of the God. It's some Greek God who loved nudity amongst gatherings. And he started riding on them. That's number eight. He started riding on them as if he was riding a donkey like Jesus into Jerusalem. You can tell the guy was pretty much busy. So he got an invitation. Upon arriving over there he found that they had cooked up that's how he put it that's not in my words that's what happened everything was a surprise because um i was not going to nigeria for deliverance but it was for the fellowship so i was surprised when now they organized the the testimony he even makes a reference to the lady that's speaking next to him and telling him what to say even when you can listen clearly the the clip that they released on YouTube, it was not me who was testifying. I was saying what the lady was saying. All very believable things at this point. And so basically his entire thing was he went over there because he believed the man was a genuine man of God, only to get there and find that the man is cooking up testimonies and is cooking up things. So what happened, we came to the conclusion that, yeah, TV Joshua does have some cooking up of things, even though... He himself is a dodgy person, but what we learned about that is that there are certain things that are cooked up once you get on that other side. There was also that Nigerian actor who once went over there. He says once he got there, there was a strange spirit that entered him, that it was not in him, but it entered him and it made him to start talking. He then said that it was God's mission that put him on that route or on that path. As a matter of fact, right now, he's actually even worse off because he's actually even brought others to that belief. We did one video where he was actually, uh, where one of his followers was actually feeding kids uh, retics. It's Ricky the Zerox Reality Show. We do daily Christian commentator videos. There's another episode that is done on today that will be down in the pinned comments and I will see you on the next episode. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of videos. If it's your first time seeing it, uh, I'm glad YouTube recommended the video. Let's get with it and uh, understand that false doctrine only gets worse. It doesn't get better.